Hey guys, Project Zodiac here. I'm back with another video and this is a really cool unboxing. Um, I'm not going to take too, too long with this because this one's actually pretty simple. So I'm going to be talking a lot towards the end though. Um, but this is a new album, um, as you guys can tell. And it's actually a bundle and it's very, very special for a couple of reasons, which I'll get to in a little bit. But... Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this. So this is a new album by the band Amber Run. And right before we actually get to the album itself, um, let's take a look at what it comes with. We've got two cartridges here, not cartridges, wow. <laughs> two um, cassette tapes here. I don't know why the bundle had this, like why it has two of them honestly i think this was the only one that was needed because one it's got the band's logo and i love this logo so much um like literally so much um and also the actual cassette tape it's purple but then the sticker is purple and orange and red and blue so this already was the perfect um representation for it but then the bundle also came with this like vibrant neon orange cassette tape which i'm not sure why they went with but here's the album cover now this is amber run's newest album and amber run for those of you that don't know is the band that made the song i found um or is it i found love i think it's i found love just look up amber run amber run i found or Ember Run, I Found Love, because that's their most famous song. And um, yeah, um, they make some really, really good songs. I'm not the hugest fan of them, but I do enjoy their music a lot. Um, so I'm going to be opening this one first, just because I already had that on my hands. And yeah, so as you can see, this album is called How to Be Human. For some reason, I feel like this cassette um case is so thick compared to the other ones i have um like i said in my daughter album unboxing i don't really buy cassettes tapes i only really get them when it's a part of a bundle because it's always not going to be that much expensive um uh, it's probably only going to be like 10 bucks more expensive and i get like you know a cd or something like that extra so yeah i don't really collect cassette tapes unless it's part of a bundle um, but yeah, this one is so much thicker than other ones I've had. Um, I'm sure I have another one like this, but... So here's the first one. We've got side B. And then we've got side A. Pretty cool. It's kind of interesting how there's screw holes here. I never really noticed that in a few other ones. Um, here is the songs like it i would understand it having two cassettes if half the album would, could only fit on one and then the other half on the other like that would make sense but even so like i i really don't know why the bundle had two um then we got the how to be human there and here's a little note from the band so you guys can pause that to read it as well I'll also be giving a mini review of this album um, um, at the end of this video. So, yeah, there's the first cassette. And now let's look at the better one, which is this one. Again, I just love this artwork so much. So, How to Be Human... Um, is an album that talks about many many things about humanity so it's a very beautiful album in general um but i'll give my review on that a little bit later like even this like the actual cardboard here it's better how to be human ember run and then we've got the cassette tape over here Again, this is so beautiful and it's coming off as a blue on the camera but it's actually a um, purple so yep 
other side doesn't really have anything else. This is like just lava lamp looking. It's just so cool. And uh, same album cover over there. And then I believe this is the same message as well. So not very different there. But the reason why I got this bundle instead of just getting the album by itself is because this particular bundle and there's a reason why it's still inside the cardboard is because this bundle comes with a signed album which is super cool so uh, let me get rid of that so this is a signed album from Amber Run and the reason why I kept it in that um, shipping box, it's because since they actually signed it on the album sleeve itself, the there is no shrink wrap. So it's free. And I don't always understand that because a lot of times bands will sign it and then send it to get shrink wrapped. But then a lot of times they just sign it and it's never shrink wrapped. So I never really understood that. Um, why some bands do it like that, some don't. But yeah, so this is How to Be Human. I love this album cover so much. And then we got um, all of the, the band members over here, which is really, really cool. And then Ember Run, How to Be Human. And then we got Side A. Um... Both of these interludes are so good, honestly. Um, but we'll talk about the songs in a little bit. Okay, so those are all of the songs. And then let's just take out this. Oh, and then here's the side. How to Be Human by Amber Run. And I'm so excited to listen to this tomorrow on vinyl. So here we have the sleeve. And here are the lyrics. And these lyrics are really, really good. So over here, um, so yeah, we got Joshua, who is the singer, and then Thomas and Henry. So I don't really know how to read cursive, so I'm not sure which one is which. Um, I'm assuming this is Henry, I'm assuming this is Joshua, and then I'm assuming, I forgot the name of the other guy, um, Thomas, I think that might be Thomas, I don't know, but that's too short to be Thomas, so I don't know, uh, I don't know how to read cursive, but it's pretty cool, um, but yeah, so again, their band logo, I love this so much. Uh, so yeah, they had that same thank you message over here, and it's really cool that each one gave literally a, a small little paragraph. That's pretty cool. Okay. I'm definitely gonna have to um, get a anti-static sleeve for this because this thing is already ripping. It's super flimsy as well, like it's very fragile. Um, I'm actually probably going to put this on the anti-sleeve right when I take off this because it's also stuck for some reason. Like it's like a vacuum is in here and I don't want to rip this and I don't want like literally like I'm having to put so much force on this. Um, I don't want to rip this nor do I want to like damage the record itself. So yeah, this is definitely going to have to go immediately into... An anti-record sleeve. Thankfully, I have some. Oh, crap. Okay, there we go. Okay, starting to rip on one side a little bit. Like, just a tiny little tear right there. But I don't want that to happen, so... Okay, there we go. Alright. Don't know why that's super staticky, but look at this. This is so beautiful. Wow. So we've got side A, how to be human, and then side B. 
It makes me think of a lava lamp in a way. This is so beautiful. Alright, since I'm not going to be putting this back in the original sleeve, I'm just going to leave it right here. And now let me give you guys my mini review for this album. Um, honestly, this album is fantastic. I do really enjoy it. Um, their first album, I think, might be kind of their, not their best, but it's definitely pretty good. It's pretty atmospheric. Um, like some of the songs in that album I love so much, like 5AM, I Found, um, and a couple other ones I can't think of right now because it's really late. But my favorite album from them that I do want to own on record, like on the actual vinyl record, is their second album, and that is called For a Moment I Was Lost. That is one of my all-time favorite albums, but it's just so expensive because it's, you know, they released that before I started collecting vinyls. Um, so I do hope that they repress it soon, and I hope that, you know, I can get it soon because that album means a lot to me. It is one of my all-time favorites. Their third album was actually pretty good, um, but it was very different. This album in particular, though, is kind of a mixture of all of those three different sounds because each album had a different sound, but its own thing as well, uh, which I always love when bands do that. Um, so they're calling back to all of their sounds to the moment that they currently are, but also implementing them with something new. So I love it when bands do that because um, it appeals to everybody, including them, and allows them to move on with a new style, which is why I love Ben Howard as well. Like his music, every album is something different. So, and he's about to release a new single. And I'm actually thinking about re uh, doing a review for that single. Um, that single is released tomorrow. Uh, so you're probably going to be seeing that video before this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that single is Ben Howard couldn't make it up. So that's the name of the single, Couldn't Make It Up, and I'm really excited to listen to that new song for his new upcoming album. I'm just so excited for it, because Ben Howard is one of my all-time favorite musicians. Anyway, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably do a, a review for that. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to see this after that video is uploaded, <laughs> so... But anyway, uh, so this album in particular was... A lot of their, um, a lot of, a lot of work, and you can tell that there was so much real emotion in this particular album. Uh, a lot of the songs from this album, such as Hurt, Funeral, Hope It's Not Gonna Be Like This Forever, Ride, um, I Miss You, and The Start. Those were all released in, throughout a series of three EPs that the band had released between their third album and this album. And honestly, a lot of these songs are from those EPs are amazing. Like Ride is one of the best songs I ever heard. And it's so emotional. Like you can really feel a lot of emotion in it. Um, Hurt is really fun. It's really, really good. It's really, really catchy. Uh, I hope it's not like this forever. I love this song so much. It's so relatable. Um, but honestly, I, I, I wish that they would have put like... Um, crap, I can't remember the name of that song right now. The one I really, really liked. It's from the, the one EP that has um, Ride in it. Um, I'm trying to remember right now. Well, okay, I can't think right now. Like I said, it's really late. <laughs> it's been a long day. But there was a few songs from that particular from, from that particular EP that I wish was on this album in the place of the start and in the place of um funeral, I suppose. Um or in the place of I miss you. I just really really wanted a few of those songs to be on this particular album. Um, but thankfully, at least, I hope it's not like this forever, and Ride both came in. Um, and honestly, this album is very emotional. There is a lot of, you know, heavy topics that they talk about. You know, being alone, um, having to help people, um, you know, family missing you, um, and like how things can impact us as well. This album is, you know, pretty dark. It's pretty emotional. And it's 
it really does capture some of the essences of being human. Um, so I think that that was pretty well done, except that I do think they could have went, they could have added some light or happier songs as well, just because, you know, humans isn't all pain and sadness. There's beauty in it as well. Um, but and th there are hints of it throughout all of this, such as um, in I Miss You um, and I'm trying to remember which one. Even I Hope It's Not Like This Forever has things like that and How To Be Human as well, the song does. Um, so yeah, there, there are some elements like that. I just wish that they could have implemented a couple other things too. Um, overall though, like the album itself is really, really good. And I'm, I, I just do wish that there was a couple of other songs on it instead of some in, in here. But it flows really, really good. It flows fantastic and honestly I'm sorry honestly it's some of their best work in general and you know really I I've, I'm doing this thing now where I'm only really going to be buying vinyl records because they're so big um, when it's a band either that I really really love that I have to have all their albums um, such as Daft Punk, Ben Howard, uh, gorillas, um, a blaze of feather, things like that. Um, even C fret, except C frets only released one album on vinyl, but anyway. Um, so yeah, just bands or albums in particular that impacts me a lot, uh, from bands that I love. So, but this particular album I got because I thought it would be cool to have a, a um, you know, a signed copy of one of this band's um, um, albums because I do enjoy their music a lot. And also just because the songs on this music, on, on this album does impact me a lot and I can relate a lot to in um, a lot of ways, um, particularly songs like I Hope It's Not Like This Forever, Ride, um, I Miss You, um, and a couple, I think even Honey Light, um, or Hurt, so like a little bit, about half the album is songs that I definitely relate a lot to. Um, this album released in February, so I've heard it a lot since then, but I haven't heard it since February. Um, so I do definitely have to like listen to it again, so that's why I'm super excited to listen to it, um, on vinyl. But I do definitely understand that this album did impact me in a way because of the songs on here and the topic of it as well. But I still think that their um, second album, For a Moment I Was Lost, is their best album. Uh, so this doesn't go as good as that in my opinion, but it's, you know, it's close in a way. So it, it's more personal for me because of the nature of a lot of these songs and in this album and a lot of the messages in general. Um, so yeah, I, I do think that the order for me is I forget, uh, for a moment I was lost, how to be human, and then the third album that I can never pronounce properly. Um, and then... Um, I think the, the first album is just Ember Run, and then the first album. Um, yeah, I, I'm always just playing that second album. That second album is so good. Um, but yeah, overall, this album is fantastic. Um, I have already written a like full-on written review of this album. So if you guys do want to hear my more in-depth thoughts and also a track-by-track -track review after that, um, I'm going to be linking that below. Below, I'll also be linking my Google Doc, um, sorry, not my Google Docs, my Twitter, uh, so that you guys can follow me there, because i got some big projects coming up that I'm really excited to announce, and I'll be teasing them over there as well. Um, but yeah, in the description below, I'm posting the link so that you guys can read my full in-depth review of this album, because I did write that when this album came out. So you guys will get a better understanding of what I'm actually trying to say and where my initial feelings and reactions were with this particular album when it first came out a few months ago. Because right now it's April 19 um, and this released in February. So yeah, definitely, definitely go check that um, 
that review out. So it's going to be a Word document and then, sorry, um, a Google Docs document. So it's going to be the, the review of the album as a whole. And then once the album as a whole review is done, underneath that, I have a track by track review as well. Um, so you guys can definitely read that if you want, so you can have a better understanding for some of the things that I'm connected to with this particular album and particular songs as well, too. So with all that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite Ember Run um, album is um, and what did you guys think about this album. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.